Yo, what is up guys? So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to drive a manual car. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I finally just took delivery of this Lotus Amira here, and I figured I'd show you guys how to drive a manual uh, if you haven't done it before. So the very first thing that you wanna know when you're driving a manual is that you're gonna have to shift the gears yourself, okay? So before anything else, you're gonna have to put the car into first gear to get it going. Obviously, I'm in neutral right now. Usually you have some sort of parking brake. I have an electronic brake. You might have an actual manual handbrake, but you're gonna have to put the car in first gear before you get going. Now, if you look at my foot cam uh, here, you can see that there's actually three pedals. There's a pedal on the left right here, which is the clutch. You have a pedal on uh, the middle, which is the brake, and then the one on the right is your gas. Now the clutch is really the only difference between a manual car and an automatic car. Um, and the clutch is basically what's gonna get you rolling and it's gonna allow you to actually shift the gears right here. If you try to shift gears without pushing in the clutch, it's not gonna do anything. You're gonna be stuck in neutral. Uh, you're probably gonna ruin your gearbox. So you have to use a clutch and use a clutch. All you have to do is you just push it in like this. Okay, I'm gonna take myself off the parking brake right here. All right, so the clutch is in and to go to first gear, you're gonna go here, over to the left and up here. Your car and most modern cars, you're gonna see what gear you're in. So usually cars, they have six gears if they're manual gearboxes, some have seven. Uh, and you can usually see it on the actual gear shifter knob, but basically usually it goes, the odd numbers are on the top of the gearbox, the even numbers are on the bottom. And basically you like to go you know, from first, from neutral, you go here to the, up to the left, to go the second, you go down the third, you go diagonal and then down the fourth and then so on and so forth. So that's usually how most gearboxes are. Um, but pretty much every gearbox is gonna be to the left and up to get in the first gear. The most important thing when you're learning to drive a manual, and if, if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend you do this, is don't even worry about pressing the gas. A lot of people will try to tell you that you have to press the gas and you kind of have to balance this whole thing between the gas and the clutch to get going. That is true once you get better at it, that will get you off the line quicker. But when you're just learning and starting out, this is the one thing that nobody ever really teaches on YouTube that I felt really helped me learn manual like really fast. And it's that you don't even have to use the gas to get going. You can literally just let go of the clutch to get the car moving. So I'm gonna show you guys right now just how that works. So if it's your very first time and you're in a parking lot like this and you're just trying to get the car moving forward, all you have to do is this. So first step is put it in the first gear, clutch in over to the left, up, you're in first gear now, foot off the brake, and you're just gonna wanna slowly, slowly let off the clutch. And you see the car's starting to move forward now, when the car starts moving forward, don't get scared. Don't just let your foot off the clutch super fast. And you can see now, we got the first gear, we're going and we're moving. So, and when you're coming to a stop, you're gonna wanna push the clutch in while you're touching the brake, and you're gonna wanna put the car into neutral, and then you can let off the clutch once you're fully stopped, and you're good to go. But as you saw, once I started rolling, a lot of people when they're first starting out with driving a manual, once the car gets moving, they tend to like let off the, the clutch really, really quickly. It's called dropping the clutch. And if you do that, what's gonna happen is either number one, the car's gonna stall, or number two, uh, it's gonna jerk your car forward and it's gonna be really uncomfortable and it's not good for your clutch to do that. So just keep in mind when you're doing it, you can go as slow as you want. There's absolutely nothing wrong with letting off the clutch like super, super slowly. But what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get anxious once the car starts moving and then you know um, dump the clutch and then get on the gas because that's not gonna be a smooth way to get off. So just keep in mind that even if your car is moving, you still wanna be on the clutch a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until you get to the very end of it. And that's personally what helped me just in terms of stopping and going, um, that was by far the number one thing. So if you're first starting out for the first couple of days you're practicing manual, I wouldn't even practice with the gas yet. I would literally just use the clutch. So right like this, clutch in first gear and just literally just go really, really slow. See the car starts to move, but I'm not off the clutch yet fully. I'm still on the clutch, still on the clutch, and now I'm off the clutch completely. So just keep that in mind that you don't want to let off the clutch too fast. Slower, you know, when you release it is better, okay? And always make sure that when you're stopping, you want to clutch in like I am right now, and you're going to want to put it in neutral, and your foot's on the brake, and now you're good. It's not that much different than driving an automatic car. It's just that any time you're changing gears, coming to a stop, or just getting going, you're going to have to use the clutch, okay? Now, as you advance and you get more comfortable with it, that's when you can start using gas. And I'll show you guys right now how to do it using gas. You can see I'll get off the line a lot quicker. Um, and this is what you're gonna wanna build up to. So basically, same thing, we're at a stop, we're neutral, we're gonna clutch in, 
bring it into first gear. And now if you look at my right foot, I'm gonna start putting gas down as I release the clutch. And this is gonna help the car get off a lot faster. So go here, boom, we're going up. And then we're off, all right? Now, this is a lot easier said than done when you're first starting. I know I watched a lot of YouTube videos. When I was learning, and a lot of these people make it sound like it's really easy, you're probably gonna stall if you try to use clutch and gas on your first day driving. It's gonna be pretty difficult, so that's why I recommend just using the clutch only in your car. Um, but as you progress, that's how you wanna do it. And you know, it's kinda hard to explain, but you're gonna have to just feel it and have to feel where the car starts to move. But just keep in mind, no matter what you're doing, even as the car starts moving, that does not mean you completely let off the clutch, okay? If the car's moving, you're still gonna wanna be on the clutch, slowly uh, releasing it, and then you get more gas, and it's kinda like you know teetering with each other, but do not do it too quickly. The mistake that I made and a lot of people make is they just let off the clutch way too quickly, um, and they end up stalling the car, and it's really frustrating. So I would practice just using the clutch only to get going, and just make sure, don't forget that when you stop, you have to put it in neutral, which neutrals usually right in the middle of the gearbox. Uh, your, your gear shift lever will automatically go back to the middle if you put it around there. Um, so you can see right here, I have a big N on the screen, which means that the car's in neutral. Um, and yeah, so that's just getting going, stopping and going. Um, that's really what I would work on in the very first thing. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, see what happens when we start driving. Because obviously stopping and going, that's great, but realistically, we, we need to be driving over there with those cars. And that's where actual gear shifting comes in, okay? Now, we're gonna get going right now, but I'm just gonna kinda discuss what the gears mean. I know a lot of you car people who watch my channel already know what gears are, but this video is for people who might not even really be car people, and they're just trying to learn how to drive a manual. So, just the only thing you really need to know about gears, okay, these gears right here that we're you know shifting with this lever with, um, the only thing you really need to know is that each gear has a speed limit, and the lower gears have lower speed limits, the higher gears have higher speed limits. And uh, basically, you know, let's say first gear might only get you up to 30 miles an hour, okay? If you wanna get to 45, you have to go to second gear. If you wanna get to 60 or 70 or 80, you have to get to third gear and so on and so forth, okay? Now it's really simple. Shifting gears is probably the easiest part, especially when you're driving. But right now you can see the RPM is building up. We go clutch in, I mean, just bring it down to second, okay? Um, so I'm in second gear right now. You can see the two right here. Now you don't, there's not necessarily a universal um, time to shift, but what you do want to just keep in mind is that um, you know for a more comfortable drive, you usually want to be around two to three thousand RPM. But if you're like performance driving, you're trying to drive super fast, obviously you know you can take it to red line. But just keep in mind that when you're shifting, okay, you follow the pattern here, even gears or sorry odd gears on the top even gears on the bottom is to go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And that's basically how you do it. So you're just gonna keep it here. Um, and we're at a stoplight right now, but once we get going, I'm gonna show you guys how to upshift. Now, once I get going a little bit and I show you guys upshifting through the gears, I'm gonna show you how to actually downshift. And that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna get here. Um, <laughs> we have a guy right here beating drums. So once this light turns green, I'm gonna shift through first gear, second, third, fourth, just to kind of show you guys how it is. But basically, all you have to keep in mind is every time you shift, it just clutch in, move the gear lever, and clutch out. Now you don't wanna, now you can kind of like, drop the clutch more, the faster you go, the more you can drop the clutch. So if you're going full speed, full throttle, you can definitely drop the clutch as fast as you want and you're gonna be fine. But if you're kind of like going slow, like just like at the speed limit like this, I'm not letting off the clutch super fast, right? You can kind of look at the clutch in the video and the foot cam and see my left foot is just really slow. Even right now, right, you go third gear, and I let the clutch slowly, that's how you keep it smooth. Now this is a sports car, so it's not gonna be the smoothest shifting, but like, even that, like just cruising around, you don't need to let off the clutch super fast. If, if I dump the clutch, it's gonna throw me forward. Um, so that's just, you know, the thing to keep in mind, you'll learn as you start to upshift. Shifting through the gears is by far the easiest part, upshifting especially. Now, just as I'm going faster and I have to upshift gears, I also have the downshift gears when I'm slowing down. So downshifting is a little bit harder and some cars will have something called an auto rev match, which basically is going to um, blip the throttle. The computer in your car is gonna blip the throttle when you downshift, so the car doesn't jerk you forward. But in a car like a Lotus Samira right here, there is no auto rev match and I have to do everything myself. 
And if you're driving an older car, there's not gonna be any auto rev match. And basically when you downshift, what you're gonna wanna do, okay, is when you shift to the lower gear, before you let off the clutch, okay, you're gonna actually blip the gas just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit, okay? And you'll see in the foot cam right here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go down the third gear. And you're gonna see, I'm just gonna blip the throttle slightly, okay? We go down the third gear. You see that? See how I just blip the throttle like that? That's how you, that's how you downshift smoothly without the car jerking forward too much. If I were to downshift and I were to not touch the gas or blip the gas is what we usually call it, the car would jerk me forward. And because the gears, you know, the RPMs wouldn't be matched up with what the gear actually is. So the car then has to compensate for that and it jerks you forward. So I'm gonna go down, well, we're going to stop setting here, but um, just keep in mind that when you're downshifting, whether it's from fourth, to third, to second, whatever, you have to blip the throttle, okay? Um, and it's downshifting might be one of the most difficult things. So if you're just starting out and you're trying to downshift and you're like, dude, like I'm trying to do it, it's not working and it feels so uncomfortable, that's completely normal. It took me a while to get used to downshifting, um, but you know, if your car has auto rev match, then you can literally just downshift and the car is gonna blip the throttle for you. But if your car doesn't have it, you're gonna have to learn how to do it. Now, there's an advanced technique called heel toe which if you look at the foot cam right here, is basically when you're, when you're, as you're braking, you can actually roll your ankle to the right. You can actually blip the throttle and hold the brake with your right foot, but that's just an advanced technique. That doesn't really matter for right now. And to be honest, on the street, I never heel toe. I always just, you know, clutch with my left foot, gas with my right foot. Um, but if you want to, you can read up on, you know, somewhere else on how to heel toe. But basically, all right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the downshift one more time. So we're upshifting here to second gear. All right, we're going through here. We got third gear. Okay, see how I'm smooth on the clutch when I'm letting off. All right, now we're going to second gear here. All right, now if you saw, I blipped right there. If I if I don't blip, the car's gonna just get completely jerked forward. Now we're going to a stop sign here, neutral. All right, now another thing to keep in mind, when you get more comfortable with actually using the gas, you don't have to, um, actually let off the clutch every time so if you look right here i'm gonna turn right here you can actually keep the clutch in like if you're gonna start start and stop pretty quickly like i'm gonna keep the clutch in here i'm in neutral right now so i can let off you know like i don't i, I could let off the clutch if i wanted to but i don't have to right so i'm gonna let this car go really quickly okay um now if you look right here all right See how I kept the clutch in the whole entire time? So just keep in mind that you don't have to put the car in neutral and let off the clutch and kind of like reset every single time. If you're kind of doing like a rolling stop or like you know that you're turning right pretty quickly right there, it's a lot easier just to keep the clutch in. You can still put the car in neutral um, or you could leave it in first gear if you wanted to. But just keep in mind that you don't have to completely let off the clutch every time you stop, okay? Now, if it's like a longer stop sign, I usually just, you know, leave the clutch or I just put the car in neutral and I just hold the brake. But if I know I'm gonna stop and go pretty quickly, I'll just keep the clutch held down and then I'll, you know, put some gas on and release the clutch and get going again. So um, I think that about wraps it up for everything. Um, I would just say that overall, you need to just focus on only using the clutch when you're first starting. I guarantee 100% you're not gonna stall the car if you only use the clutch to get going. That's the only thing you use. 100% you are not going to stall the car. And once you get more comfortable, you can start adding gas and you know do it a lot you know quicker and smoother. Um, and shifting through the gears, I kind of you know went through it pretty fast for the gears, but the gear shifting is super straightforward. Upshifting is really, really easy. It's the easiest part by far. Downshifting is a little bit harder, but it's all about practice. Every car has slightly different, um, you know, like blips that you need for the downshift. You don't always use the same downshift for the blips, but basically, um, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys go out and uh, use some of these techniques and I hope you learn how to drive manual because it will be frustrating at first, but trust me, over time, you're gonna get comfortable with it and it's gonna be really, really fun and it's gonna be a really rewarding thing to do. A lot of cars nowadays are not manual, so um, yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of these types of videos. I also do car reviews on my channel, so uh, without further ado, um, I'm gonna end this video and hope you guys have a nice day.